Whirlpool is a leading US-based manufacturer and marketer of home appliances. Yeah, it was founded in the 1910s by a chap who then built it into a larger group. It acquired Maytag. The brand Whirlpool is the world's largest appliance manufacturer. They've got about 100,000 employees. And you'll, I'll tell you in a minute the list of brand names you'll be familiar with. I can with. see you're dying to do Kitchen that. KitchenAid, I'm sure you've Cap got a few of those. Is, I do have a KitchenAid, very <laughs> nice supplies. 13.3 billion US dollars, a PE here of 18.8 .8 and a dividend yield of 2.3%. You want to come on? Yes. Let's not let Where's you hold let back. Let Give us so the list of so what Whirlpool, they're involved in. I think in. people will be familiar with, with the washing machines. Maytag, because remember they bought Maytag in about 2000. KitchenAid, which is a fantastic appliances. Gen Air, Indesit, people might know. Hotpoint, Bauknecht. So, you know, they've got a whole bunch of different brands, and that's partly through well, acquisition. Well diversified. Just shows how much time he spends in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. so Do you have a KitchenAid? <laughs> I'm actually a big customer of Yuppie Chef in this country. <laughs> <laughs> which is the online site based in Cape Town, I think, and you buy the KitchenAid appliances. Now I've got all the KitchenAid. Got I've got the, the mixer. So you also I've are an enthusiastic cook. Maker. Are you an enthusiastic mm, cook? I've oh. got the blender. Look, <laughs> I would say I'm more of a spectator in the kitchen <laughs> than an operative. <laughs> Do you have these appliances? Are you a yuppie chef? I think fan? my wife enjoys those appliances. I don't know if I know how to use them. I just I don't touch them because they'll break. Um, so I stay far away from them. But Whirlpool story, what, you, what Paul was referring to there, the story has been a really great journey of showing how when you're serious about doing a certain business, you can grow over a period of time. And the gentleman that he's mentioning there, he had a very strong background in what he was doing in the back, back, back in the days when he was start, still starting off to, to create the whole, the whole group uh, and to get them to list. So you're sitting at, uh, what, $175, $175, dollars well, Let's have a look at the chart because yeah, it has yeah, come through exactly. here. Exactly. And yeah. that gives you a picture of a rising price over yeah. five years. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, if you're going long term, why would, why would you not love this particular trade? You've still got no exposure to this, Paul, though. No, look. Um, Neither do I. So I don't feel don't feel guilty, Paul. This is a fairly niche player. I mean, thirteen yeah. billion dollars isn't small by our standards, but it isn't enormous by U.S. standards. And but you've both given a very glowing report for Whirlpool. Yeah, so one would well wonder if you were watching the show why you don't both have shares in the stock. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you can't own everything internationally. So in my world, you'd probably go to things that are a little bit larger. But as far as the hot or not concerned, yes. I think one you could say it's, it's hot. hot. I mean, and it's you're a well-run yeah. and well-operated company with a solid dividend distribution history.